I'm still kind of in a daze. I was a little, a little disappointing, I have to say, but um, I tried to put myself in it and gave it everything I had today, which just wasn't uh, my best day. And what's the overall emotion now? Uh, it hasn't really hit me yet. Um, I mean, that track is amazing, and it's been a wonderful experience. So uh, I hope to keep using this and keep learning from it and keep moving forward. And was it the case that like you just didn't have the legs on the last lap, or was there yeah. anything you did different? No, I don't think so. I mean, I really thought I positioned myself okay. I got bumped around a lot, but that's typical. Um, you know, we were moving pretty good, so I just, I guess, I just didn't have it that last 300 like I normally do. And just like given where you've come from, I guess in, in time you'll probably be able to look back on a lot of positives. It's what are the kind of positives you'll take from Absolutely. this whole experience? Absolutely. I learned a ton from that first round um, about positioning and controlling my nerves and just being in this atmosphere and even just sitting in the call room for 30 minutes before a race that's different. So definitely learned a lot. How, how did you control your nerves given you know the crowd noise and everything else? I think the main thing is just to stick to your routine. I, I do the same warm up everywhere I go. Um, just had to start it a little earlier. And sitting in the car room, I just say my mantras and focus on myself, and that's all you can do. What are your mantras before a race? Um, just usually stay calm, keep my heart rate down, um, focus on you know the first two laps of the race, and then kind of just visualizing the rest. Do you stick around, or do you head out on vacation? So we're going to be here for a few more days. We're going to go to Paris with the family for a few days and then down to Barcelona. So we'll take a little family vacation for the next week and a half and then I'm hoping to race once or twice more before I head back over. Because it's your daughter's second birthday, right? It is today, yeah. yeah. She, she turns two. Thank you. And like your story has garnered attention across America and, and internationally. Um, have you been aware of just how much of an inspiration you've been, I suppose, to everyday runners who, who work a full-time job and are parents and yeah. try to run fast? Yeah, I've had a lot of media requests which have been great. I've been trying to field them all. Um, it's been a little overwhelming, to be honest. I wasn't quite expecting it because it's just me doing what I do and all of a sudden everything changed. So I tried to kind of like one interview a day from the trials until now and just kind of keep things as normal as possible. But it's been awesome. I'm so happy to tell my story. I'm an open book about anything. I mean, you guys ask me anything and you know that I'll give you an honest answer. So I'm happy to share my story and I hope it does inspire a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.